The Office of Management and Budget has new rules for the Technology Modernization Fund. The guidance give ag gives agencies more flexibility to pay back the loans over time, or maybe not at all. Alan Thomas is Chief Operating Officer at IntelliBridge. He's former Commissioner of the Federal Acquisition Service at the General Services Administration. Alan, welcome. Uh, hugely positive reviews for the idea of changing the rules for the Technology Modernization Fund. What do these new rules look like to you, and what's the potential impact for agencies and for the volume of the TMF? Well, it's good to be with you again, Francis. Yeah, big big changes, right? In the memo that came out on uh, on May fourth. I mean, essentially, they're you know they're changing OMB and GSA are changing what they want, uh, when they want it, and how agencies are going to are, are going to uh, potentially repay the funds, right? So they created these four what they're calling high priority proposal categories. So that's for modernizing high priority systems, for cybersecurity, for public facing digital services, and for cross gov services and infrastructure which is pretty broad, right? I mean, you could essentially drive uh, drive a truck through that. Uh, and then they've changed the the repayment rules, right? So there's still the option of um, good old fashioned, what I would call classic full repayment, which is we loan you the money, you pay it all back. But there's also what they call partial repayment and then so-called uh, minimal repayment, which I think potentially is a dangerous concept in, uh, in, in, in Washington, right? Because that might, in my mind, that might mean, uh, that might mean zero. But look, they've given agencies a target of what uh, kind of of what to shoot for in terms of the kinds of projects they want to see. And I think most importantly, they've put a deadline out there um, to really get the flow of projects going. I ask this question not to imply that it's a bad thing necessarily, but if the repayment in a particular case, if minimal repayment does turn into zero, what's the difference between working through the TMF and just a regular appropriated thing as far as getting the project done? I understand the budgeting construct. But what's the difference to the agency, or maybe there is no difference, and maybe that's the point, Alan. Well, I think I think you get you get some expertise, right, and some insight and some guidance uh, from from the from the TMF board. Uh, now, look, I'd like to see a little broader set of skills on there. I think the board is uh, is a little long in terms of uh, career CIO skills, which certainly is an appropriate skill set to have on the board. I think it'd be good to have some acquisition and finance folks on there as well. But I think you do get you do get the benefit of the board's insight. Uh, and guidance and potential ability to sort of connect your project to other things going on in government that you might not get just through the traditional appropriations process. So I think I, I do think there's some there's some uh, there's some additional value there for for agencies. What's the benefit to adding uh, financial management and acquisition expertise to the board that maybe they're not getting now and will need as they scale to the degree that they potentially can scale? Well, look, I think just just having some diversity of opinion and skill sets in the room when you're evaluating investments and thinking about how they might fit and kind of a portfolio effect across the government makes a lot of sense. You know, finance people, acquisition people tend to ask different kinds of questions than technology people. Uh, and having all those sorts of questions asked as you're evaluating projects, I think, will ultimately lead uh, to to better decisions. You know, I would note when I when I was on the board, we did have a little a little broader mix uh, of skill sets in there. And I think just over time, it's gotten, you know, it's gotten a little CIO, CIO heavy. Again, CIOs should absolutely be represented on the board, no, no question. But I think some diversity of skill sets and viewpoints will, will probably ultimately produce better investment decisions. What do you, and the investment decision piece of it is exactly, I think, the right way to frame this. This has been the point of the TMF and it was the point of the revolving funds at the individual agencies. That was the spirit of the original legislation. What happens to continue to drive that spirit forward, Alan? What has to happen in the policy making area and what has to happen at the individual agencies in the execution area to make the, the, the original intended spirit of this legislation fulfill its potential? Well, I think, I think if you're talking specifically about repayment, uh, you know, I think the board does have to be careful and they really do need to pick a mix of projects some that will actually that will provide full repayment, some that will provide partial, you know, some that will be that will be minimal. I mean, it, it does bear watching over time. You'd hate to see you, you got the billion dollars, which is great, right? You'd hate to see uh, in a few years that the fund has dwindled and can't actually make a next round of investments. I mean, the beauty of a revolving fund is you sort of you know you create this mechanism where you can continually make investments and continue to modernize things and drive and drive improvement. You'd, you'd, hate, you'd hate to see that sort of uh, die on the vine, right? I don't think, I certainly don't think that's the intent here. 
Uh, and I do think kind of lessening some of the repayment rules may encourage some agencies who are on the sidelines to, to get in the game, which, which should be great. But it does does bear watching over time. So that's an interesting concept, Alan, because I, maybe I've been thinking about this entirely wrong. When I hear a billion dollars going to the fund, I hear a billion dollars going, not a billion dollars available for the fund. And maybe it makes sense to spend down to to leave a pad of $250 million or something like that so the fund can perpetuate itself. Is that what you're thinking about there when, when you uh, talk about that concept? Uh, I think I think you might always want to have a little bit of a reserve. You know, I think that's a kind of prudent management concept. But really, if you're getting some repayment back over time, you're you're you know you're you're replenishing that right. So may, may, maybe you do have a threshold which you don't want to go below, and you make sure that you kind of always able to to uh, you know to, to replenish up, up up to that level. Again, it's just going to depend on the mix of projects that they fund and sort of you know how 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 repayment happens. I, look, it's human nature, right? People are probably going to go for minimal or partial repayment projects versus versus full repayment projects. Um, so it's just again, it's something it's something to watch uh, as time as time goes on. And, and yeah, maybe maybe you do set a little bit of a floor, right? And if you kind of get below that, then then you think a little differently about the investments that you make. We have about thirty seconds left. Is that bad necessarily? If organizations, if agencies go primarily for the minimal uh, repayment uh, strata? No, I, I I don't think so. I mean, look, the memo said, hey, we're in a crisis, right? COVID and an economic crisis and, a, and sort of big cybersecurity issues like around the solar winds hack. So, you know, for things like that, we're, we're going to we want to fund those projects immediately. We're not so worried about repayment. We think there's sort of other pressing problems. I'm OK with that. Right. The question is, when 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 are we out of the crisis? Right. And when when potentially does the fund go back to sort of, um, you know, a true full repayment model, which I think was the original the original intent of that. The other thing you got to watch for is. You know, sometimes if you take the pressure of repayment off, sometimes projects don't get executed as quickly, right? Again, hu human nature. I give you money. If, if I'm expecting you to pay it back, you're likely to invest that money more quickly and start generating the returns. If I, if I tell you, oh, you don't have to pay it back, you may take a little more time than you, than you normally would. Uh, so again, something I just something I think that bear, bears watching going, uh, going forward. Alan Thomas, thanks as always. Great to see you. Good to see you.